Hello, this is John Piper with a special report on uh, Friday the 18th of November looking at the chart of gold. We've now seen that fifth wave decline, or at least we've seen the beginning of a fifth wave decline as I've been talking about. I just wanted to review the position um, as we're now at the support levels. So uh, those of you who want to get in at uh, with, with very small stop levels, which of course allows you to amplify the size, um, may want to pay attention to this. Uh, basically we have the wave one as I'm terming it up to there. We have the wave two, which subdivides into an A wave to there, a B wave to there, and then a C wave down to here. Um, that, this high was around near 1380, low was 1240, 140 points. 140 points off here takes it down to just below 1200. So that's the key support level uh, where waves A and C will be equal. Uh, I think it's quite likely we're going to see a break below 1200. Now, it rather depends what happens at that point. I mean, clearly we saw that support level here at 1200. Um, we might be met with some solid buying, which would be um, a clear rejection, um, and the price may then start moving up, hopefully with a bit of speed. Um, but on the other hand, we could see a lot of selling. It may be that a lot of people who actually got stops at that level, um, so the thing could actually spike down quite sharply below 1200. Um, so those of you who want to get on on board may want to watch the market quite carefully at this point. If you do see that kind of, if you see a spike below 1200, for example, that would be a good buying opportunity. You can buy buy the rally, put the stop below the spike, and that might work rather well. Uh, let's just get down a leg. Now, this is the hourly chart. So we have the uh, one which is around seventy dollars, two, three. That one was a bigger wave around $80, then the fourth wave goes to there, and then we've got a 1, 2, 3. Now if wave 5 is equal to wave 3, $70, then we'd expect to move down to 1160. Um, now that could be a big spike though, so because the big selling spike, stops get taken out, um, market goes you know, that much lower and shakes the, the weak holders out. Um, of course, it may just keep going. We no, no guarantee we're going to see a low here. Um, always bear that in mind. Let's look at the fifth wave in more detail. So we have, uh, well, I'm going that as a 1, 2, ABC 2, then 1, 2. Uh, I think uh, this is probably a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll then be a 4. And this is a fifth wave coming in. Um, so you know, I think. Possibly more. We have got a spike there, those of you who really want to get in early with a very tight stop. Um, on the basis you may well get stopped out, but you, you've got a stop there which is about two or three points away from the current action. Um, so that can that can be worth a punt. It's really a question for the way you want to trade the markets. Uh, I've got a, I have adopted a few short, very short term positions, and I've got a couple of very small positions with stops below the, 80, uh, the 1180 level. Um, but at this point in time, no, there's no big call in place. We haven't got a clear pattern to say that the low is actually in. Once I once I see that, then I'll issue an alert and go in you know, and tell you all about it, etc. Et but right now I'm talking about uh, people who want to get in shorter term traders who rather get aboard what could be a huge move, a 500 point move, um, at a very early stage with, with a very low risk, but with a higher risk of being stopped out, if you see what I mean. So that's uh, listen on gold. We're now seeing the fifth wave. We, we could, of course, see a, prolo a prolonged fourth wave at some point. So, I mean, this fourth wave was over in think in day, but it, I mean, you know, so so we could see it, uh, another another rally, another de sorry, another decline. Um, but we have got expiry, of course. We've got expiry today. It can be pivotal. Um, so you know, it, it's it's one of the factors in this. All right, the pattern on silver is not so clear, so I'm going to switch to Bitcoin. Um, as you know, I've been trying to um, send out some information on Bitcoin recently. I think there's a good opportunity to get on board the. Uh, possible mega trend here, I say possible because we never know for sure. Um, this is a chart of Bitcoin going back to inception or at least close to inception. It ticked along, not doing very much. Uh, let me get the right right page out. So it ticked along, not doing very much for a number of years. Um, we then saw, I think well, we can count as a 1, 2, although the 1, 2 could have been here I guess, and then this solid rally up, but I count it as a 1 wave. So we've seen a 1 wave from below zero, um, sorry, not below zero, uh, the price was in a few cents up to a thousand dollars. So if you bought at one, I think it was one cent, it was available thereabouts and uh, sold at a thousand dollars, you end up with I think a million dollars, as I recall. So certainly, uh, one bitcoin uh, bought at uh, I think one dollar invested in bitcoin at the early days 
uh, became worth a million dollars at that point. Um, now at this point we enter an ABC decline and you see this spike here for example, I think that was on the Chinese announcement. Um, so we've got a two wave um, and uh, since then we've rounded in a five wave form one, two, three, four. Now currently we haven't seen new highs above this level here but we're getting quite close to that. So my anticipation is that we're going to see some kind of pullback in the fairly near future. Um, I'll say near future, this is, uh, I think, I think these are monthly bars. Um, so within, within, I don't know, the first quarter perhaps of next year, we might see a fifth wave peak unless it accelerates, in which case it could be a third wave. Um, what I've been suggesting is that uh, people buy mining shares which generate Bitcom uh, rather than holding Bitcom. So by having mining shares, uh, Bitcom had churned out, not say for free because you had to buy the mining shares, but it doesn't matter too much what happens in the interim as long as the overall trend is up. Uh, and this does seem to be a fairly clear bullish pattern on Bitcoin um, going back to the, well, this is the chart goes to 2010. In fact, the Bitcoin was created in 2008, um, so the first couple of years are missing, but it was very low level stuff. Uh, but the chart suggests that we could see this, this level taken out, um, but we probably have a few setbacks first, uh, which is why I'm looking at mining shares rather than the actual Bitcoin itself at this point. But certainly if we do see some decent sell-offs, uh, then I'll be looking to buy Bitcoin as well. But uh, And also there's opportunity of hedging. So if you have mining shares using Bitcoin, um, you're holding some Bitcoin at the 750 level thereabouts, then we may see a decent selling opportunity whereby we can hedge the position and that's something I'll be monitoring. Now, whether or not this is a mega trend, I think actually the whole concept of cryptocurrencies and the blockchain is a mega trend. I think it's going to change things dramatically over time. Um, whether Bitcoin will be around at, at the peaks in I don't know how many years forward, I don't know. Um, but I do think there is a mega trend here. This is one opportunity to join that mega trend. So that's how I'm looking at it. So in a sense, this is a big call. Uh, I'm not making it a formal big call because maybe it's slightly outside the boundaries of what uh, um, what we do, but maybe I should. I'm not sure. I'd like some feedback on that. Actually, what do you think about it? Um, but certainly, this this is a speculative position. You know, this is not. This is like this is a trade. It's like the gold trade I've been talking about. You know, there should be a stop level, and the stop level is, is zero. So it'd be you know the stop level is being wiped out or that position being wiped out. Um, so it's not for you know, it's, it's not an investment situation where you stick in I don't know one percent of your wealth whatever it might be it's it's, uh, it's something where you want to put a much smaller sum in to uh, to, to get a foothold and you can buy a mining pool for five hundred five hundred dollars you want to buy partial mining pools etc etc but um, yeah obviously as I invest in this I, I think it's a good good deal um, and uh, you must uh, decide what you think about it yourselves. Uh, what I've been trying to do is provide information so one can make an informed decision on this. Uh, you'll notice that wave 4 here did not probe below the wave 1 at this point, which is uh, one of the essential elements of the Elliott wave count. Um, but this this looks pretty good, except that we have maybe seen 5 waves up or are about to. So we could see a couple of months, uh, well maybe uh, as this rally has taken us uh, almost 2 years now, we could certainly see the market go down next year, but again, no reason not to buy mining shares because it's just producing Bitcoin, which uh, uh, is all to the good, really. Um, okay, that's enough for today. I hope you found that useful. Back to the report, uh, well, weekend report tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.